dear learners as we have already discussed about wildlife tourism earlier so today we are going to discuss about wildlife tourism problems and management the objective of this uh, topic would be the major problem of wildlife tourism we also discuss about the negative as well as the positive impact of wildlife tourism apart from that we will also uh, discuss about uh, management of wildlife tourism and at last we will discuss about the uh, wildlife uh, do's and don'ts so coming to wildlife tourism wildlife tourism mostly encompasses non conjunctive uh, interaction with uh, wildlife uh, such as observing and photographing animals in their natural habitats it also includes a uh, viewing of and interacting with captive animals in zoo or wildlife parks and can also include animal ridings for example elephant riding and conjunctive activities such as fishing and hunting it has the recreational aspect of adventure travel and usually supports the value of ecotourism and natural conservation program now we will discuss about india as a wildlife tourism india is the land of diverse beauty of its pristine locations with versatile attraction not only in terms of culture festival and excessive historical monuments but this incredible land is best escorted with variety of wildlife living amidst the astonishing landscape and the wide ranges of flora beauty no region on this planet can complete with india in terms of unmatched variety of flora and fauna india's wildlife is rich and diverse amongst 24.16% of india's land is under forest with its incredible variety of terrain some of the species found in india are endangered and are found nowhere in the world such as slot deer black bucks nilgai and we can say tiger also because when we talk about tiger tiger are only found in asia and the large number of population of tiger is in india and there are more than 500 uh, wildlife sanctuaries and 103 national parks in india which attracts travelers and tourists from all over the world out of 34 biodiversity rich spot in the world three lies in india and they are the western ghats the eastern himalayas and indo burma region and there are 18 biosphere reserves in india dear learners now we will discuss about the problems in wildlife tourism protecting wildlife in the country as scattered populous and huge like india is in its a uh, daunting task india accounts for the good proportion of the world's flora and fauna diversity nevertheless the rates of depletion of this gene pool is also alarming a lot of uh, measures have been taken care of but certain problems area remain to be addressed too starting with a the strategy of conservation by a network of protected area and specific animal conservation projects itself has some major problems the protected area national parks and the sanctuaries do not have adequate infrastructure and manpower to monitor vast forest tracts the dip- displacement of tribal and other forest people from the uh, demarcated areas has not indicated well for the health of the forest and the wildlife the displaced tribal have either been rehabilitated in the neighboring land uh, forest land or continue to derive their livelihood from the forest by aiding the poachers or smuggling wildlife and forest products some experiment in the joint forest management area have shown that the tribal can be successful incorporated in any programs of forest and wildlife management the protected area accounts for only 4% of the uh, india's total land mass and as such there is a massive depletion in the biological health outside uh, this protected area perhaps it has rightly been said that islands of diversity is surrounded by oceans of diversity the tendency to 
treat forest and wildlife as separate entities and as such separate legislations often accounts for the lack of coherent uh, comprehensive policies there is thus the need for the broad based wildlife strategy a great deal of emphasis has been put on the uh, big game and big mammals and other animals have received a great deal of attention in our wildlife programs while many species of plants and microorganism have been neglected and the state has failed to respond effectively to the new problems like insurgent and terrorist taking shelter in forest and increased instances of poaching and smuggling of wildlife products there are many species of wildlife that have not been documented yet fear is uh, being expressed that they may be lost to mankind forever even before getting detected the wildlife protection act though a protection act does not protect a uh, species enumerated under scheduled 5 now we will discuss about the negative impact of wildlife tourism wildlife tourism can cause significant disturbance to animal in their natural habitat even among the uh, tourist practice which boost minimal to no direct contact with wildlife the growing interest in the traveling to developing countries has created a boom in the resort and hotel constructions particularly on the rainforest and mangrove forest land wildlife viewing can scare away animals disrupt their feedings and nesting sites or acclimate them to the presence of people in kenya for example wildlife observers disturbances drive cheetahs off their reserves increasing the risk of inbreeding and further endangering the species now we will discuss about the direct impact the impact wildlife tourism will have on wildlife depend on the scales of tourist development and the behavior of wildlife to the presence of human when tourist activities occurs during sensitive time of the life cycle for example during nesting season and when they involve close approaches to wildlife for the purpose of identification or photography the potential of uh, for disturbance is high uh, disturbing breeding pattern uh, the pressure of tourists searching out wildlife uh, to photograph or to hunt uh, can adversely affect uh, hunting and feeding pattern and the breeding success of some species some may even have long term implications for behavior and ecological relationship for example an increase in boat traffic has disturbed the feeding of giant otters in manu national park that is in peru further disturbance of wildlife uh, occurs when tourist guides dig up turtles nest and chase swimming uh, goggles tapirs and other to give client better viewing opportunity on the shore of lake kariba in uh, zimbabwe the number of tourist boat and the uh, noise generated for distur- disturbed uh, the feeding and the drinking pattern of elephant and the black rhinos it is feared that uh, further increase in the boat traffic will affect their reproductive success the disturbance caused by the human interventions may present species from their regular breeding and feeding activities disturbing feeding pattern artificial feeding of wildlife by tourists can uh, have severe consequences for social behavior pattern artificial feeding uh, by tourists cause a breakdown of a terrestrial uh, breeding system of land ignus on the south plaza in the uh, galapagos island territories were abundant in favor of sites where food could be begged from tourists and this has had a negative effect on the breeding success of agonus artificial feeding can also result in complete loss of normal feeding behavior galapagos islands overfeeding by tourists was so extreme that when stopping stopped some animals were unable to locate their natural food source similarly until the early 1970s the diet of some grizzly bears in yellowstone national park consisted to a large extent of food waste left 
by visitors at park refuge sites. When these sites were closed, the bear shows significant decrease in body size, reproductive rates, and litter size. Disruptions of uh, parent offspring bonds. Wildlife tourism also caused disruptions to intraspecific relationships. Attendance by female harp sales uh, to their pubs declined when tourists were present and those females remaining with uh, their pubs spent significantly less time nourishing and more time watching the tourists. There is also a risk of a uh, young not being recognized and uh, being more exposed to predators attack. A similar con uh, concern has been expressed over whale watching, whale calves normally maintain constant body contact with their mothers but when separated can transfer their attachment to the side of the boat. Increased vulnerability to predators and competitors. The viewing of certain species by a wildlife uh, tourists make the species more vulnerable to predators. The evidence of this uh, phenomena has been recorded in birds, reptiles and mammals. Problems have occurred in breeding colonies of pelicans. Increased morality, vanity hunt and poaching. Vanity hunt, also known as can hunts, tend to breed their animals for specific desirable features without regard for the genetic health of the population. Breeding effects can uh, incorporate elements of inbreeding as specific features are aggressively sought. Inbreeding not only reinfor uh, reinforces the presence of uh, desirable features but brings with its risk of inbreeding distressions which can reduce population fitness. Such operations also tend to feature other forms of animal abuse including inadequate housing and improper diet. Approaching similarly to uh, winter hunting selects strongly for animals phenotypes deemed desirable by hunters. The harvest selections, sometimes termed as unnatural selections, for specific human desired uh, features depletes natural populations of alice which confer those desirable phenotypes. Often these features, large horns, large size, specific pelts are not only desirable to humans but play role in survival within the animal's natural habitat and role within their ecosystem. By cutting down the number of animals bearing uh, those desired uh, phenotypes, the amount of genetic material necessary for conferring those uh, phenotypes upon later generations of the populations in depleted and example genetic drifts. This selection change population structures over time and can lead to the decrease in the wild condition fitness of the population as it is forced to adapt around hunting conditions pressure. Now talking about the positive impact, habitat restore, restoration by eco lodge and other tourism operations, many owners of eco accommodations or wildlife attraction, uh, attractions preserves and restores native habitats on their property. In a large way, the tourists and travelers visiting the wildlife destination contributes to the conservation and improve of the conditions for the animals. The flow of uh, people keeps the poachers at bay from killing the venerable animals. The local tribe uh, have a decent living as the tourism flourishes as it provides opportunity of improved livelihood. It also co uh, comes under conservation breedings like many wildlife parks and zoo breeds raise the endangered species as a part of their activity and release the progeny when possible into suitable habitat. Financial donations Some wildlife tourism contributors monetary donations to the conservation efforts. Example, Dreamworld Gold Coast has 
a display of Sumatran tiger and money from the visitors donations and from their tiger works goes to Sumatra to assist in situ conservation of wild tigers quality interpretations the good wildlife guide will impart a deeper understanding of the local wildlife and its ecological need which may give visitors a more information base on which to subsequently modify their behavior and decide what political moves to support culture and population maintenance in order to provide for less invasive wildlife tourism features and maintain ecosystem health wild populations occasionally required maintenance measures these measures can include the uh, aforementioned uh, conservation breed, uh, breeding program to bolster population number or culls to reduce population number population reductions uh, via cull occurs not only through the obvious means of direct removal of individual but by implementing an additional selective pressures upon the population this harvest selection can alter allelic frequency within a population allowing a hunters to save future generation by hunting the current conservation hunting harvest well monitored trophy hunting is inherently self regulating because modest of take is required to ensure high trophy quality and thus marketability of the area and the future season for example in zimbabwe trophy hunting was largely responsible for the conservation of 27000 square kilometer of uh, lively uh, livestock ranching to game ranching and a subsequent uh, quartling of wild life populations anti poaching bringing tourists regular into some areas may make it more difficult for poachers of large animals or those who collect smaller species for the black market some examples of tourism having a positive effect uh, towards anti poaching are that of non consumptive wildlife uh, tourism services which in turn provides for economic benefit of rural communities and also by providing these same local communities with game meat harvested through tourist activities such as hunting barret and assis source that generating money sources from this non uh, consumptive uh, practice of tourism generates a positive impact effect and decrease game meat consumption while lowering illegal hunting now uh, learners we are coming to the planning and managing wildlife tourism so here we will discuss about that when planning and managing wildlife tourism there are number of areas that are required to be taken into consideration the planning and management of wildlife tourism is primarily based upon a places where the individuals are planning a visit the measures that are vital to be taken into considerations for the planning and management of wildlife are safety and preventive measures preservations of forest elevating populations generating of awareness care of elderly family members and child and the management of other areas this have uh, been stated as follows like safety and preventive measures one of the important aspect that one need to take into considerations are the safety measures the type of safety measures usually depends upon the places where the individuals are planning a visit for instance uh, in place such as zoo or circus the animal are kept captive hence the individual do not have to be much concerned regarding their safety on another hand in national park like ranthambhor in rajasthan when the individual make a visit it is a vital for them to wear proper attire do not roam around freely and be secure within the bus that is used for the journey the effective implementation of uh, safety and preventive measures make the individuals feel secure and they are able to fulfill their needs and objectives
as it has been stated above that in some cases individual have an aim and objective to fulfill and wildlife tourism is not just planned for the purpose of recreational or leisure second is prevention of forest forests are regarded to be the utmost significance for the sub- substance of living conditions of the individuals forest make provisions of variety of materials and products this benefits not only the individual belonging to the rulers and the tribal communities but also the individuals belonging to the urban areas forest serves the habitat for wild animal when deforestation forestation take place then it is apparent that it would lead to extinction of the wildlife hence with the extinction of wildlife there would be decline in wildlife tourism and in the present existent forest are being cut down with the main purpose of obtaining the woods as it is used for multiple purposes but there have been formulations of law stated that prevention of forest would lead to prevention of wildlife now third uh, one we will discuss about that is uh, preventing pollutions preventing pollutions primarily water pollution is regarded to be of utmost significance in india there are number of rivers that are getting polluted the effect of water pollutions are negative upon the aquatic animals research has indicated that individual obtain water from the water bodies for the purpose of carrying out uh, the household uh, responsibilities as well as for activities of daily living the individual residing in the rural and tribal communities do experience scarcity of water and hence they are required to obtain it from the well or from other water body sources it is vital for individual to acquire an understanding that they need to keep the water bodies free from pollution dumping of waste material into the rivers and lakes is one of the primary factors that is causing water popula- uh, pollution nowadays in the present existence uh, there is an emergency of law if individual dump waste into the water bodies or cause their pollution in any form then they would be penalized hence elevations of water pollution is regarded as the imperative factor that is used to preserve and manage wildlife within the water body now coming to the fourth one uh, that is generation of awareness when the individual are on the course of their wildlife uh, tourism it is essential for them to pay proper attention and generate awareness in terms of important area areas the individuals are working then it is vital for them to be cautious of various perils and dangers especially near the water body mostly there are sign boards around which state danger ahead in case there are any aspect which may impose detrimental uh, consequences upon the individuals when the individual read them then they are able to adequately manage their wildlife tourism whereas when the individuals are unable to ge- generate awareness regarding various risk then they may even risk their lives there have been an increase in the mortality rates as well as accidents just because of lack of attention on the part of the individuals usually within the course of wildlife tourism the individual pay attention to other aspect within the natural environment and they get subjected to accidents now the fifth one we'll discuss that is uh, care of elderly uh, family members and children usually children uh, who are below 18 years of age and elderly family members also may get engaged in wildlife tourism in the case of this individual uh, individuals it is a vital to pay attention uh, adequate attention and there have been cases when children have been prone to major accident just because of their parents did not pay adequate attention to them on the other hand when individuals are not very serious then it is a vital to make provisions of wheelchair or walking sticks in addition for the effective management of wildlife tourism it is essential for the individuals to carry drinking water and refreshment with them 
Normally, uh, wildlife tourism involves long work or in safaris, individuals even take rides and for this purpose, it is necessary for the individual to boost their energy level. In addition, the individual should not carry much load in the form of bags or other items as when they may carry excessive baggage or loads, then they would arise impediments uh, within the course of their tourism activities. Now the sixth one is management of other areas. Management of other areas are regarded as the important aspect of wildlife tourism. The other areas include there should be a guide who may be vested with the responsibility to provide adequate guidance and the directions to the individuals who are primarily visiting for the first time and especially the individuals belonging to the foreign countries. In addition, there should be a provision of restrooms and resting place for the individuals. The environment conditions should be adequately maintained with the posters and the signboards. In addition, a provision of maps also render a significant uh, contributions in providing proper directions of the individuals. Usually when guides are not available then the individual are required to plan their wildlife tourism activities in accordance to the knowledge and the information available through signboards and the maps. In most cases when individuals do not feel comfortable walking they make use of vehicles. Now coming to the do's and don'ts of wildlife tourism. Starting with first, do not disturb wildlife animals. Wildlife uh, is fun to watch but should be left alone. Never touch wildlife animals. Remember, they are wild and can bite or scratch. Do not try to help uh, wildlife that is uh, injured. Call an appropriate person. Do not touch or pick wild animals that have died. Do not touch or pick up young animals their parents are watching nearby. If a wild animal appears sick or hurt, you can call an appropriate person, never feed a wild animals and do not ever get too close to the wild animals because there have been several times where animals attacked without the slightest warning and be sure to research the animal and its signs of fear. Also research how to approach the animal to make sure you don't provoke it. There are always stories about photographers getting mullet by bears, lions etc. Respect the wild animals and maintain a safe distance from them. Remember you are in their home and they get first priority. Do not play music, honk or speak loudly. Silence can help you hear wildlife. Do not litter the place with polythene bags, tetra packs and other such materials. They not only spoil the beauty of the park but also may harm the animals. Take them back with you to be disposed of properly. Do not wear perfumes or any other strong smelling uh, substances. The animals are sensitive to smell and it may arouse their curiosity. Do not collect any plants or animals they are belong to the forest not in your garden animals are generally shy and tend to hide when they see a human being please do not attempt to lure them out by throwing stones or other objectives leave them in the peace take strict precautions to guard against accidental fire caused through uh, carelessness smoke and flash Photography is prohibited in the wildlife area. All the drivers and the uh, guides are given a set of instructions regarding the speed of the vehicles, the route to be followed, the distance to be kept from other vehicles and the wildlife and time guidelines. Never encourage your driver to break these rules. Provide water for wildlife by putting up a bird bath. Keep it full of fresh, clean water. Watch wildlife that lives near your home. Learn the name of the birds and animals. Make a list or draw pictures of animals you see. Ask an adult to help make a wildlife nesting box or create wildlife habitat.
were colored that blends with the forest that is khaki brown and olive greens are the ideal color to wear in the national parks animal might get frightened when they see bright colors since they are not used to them and you should not deviate from the allotted route or leave the road and drive across country enter without proper ticket entry before sunrise or stay after sunset so that's all about wildlife uh, tourism problems and uh, its management so uh, by this uh, i would like to summarize that uh, in this uh, topic we have covered the aspect of wildlife tourism we have also discussed about the uh, problems of wildlife tourism and later we also discussed that how to manage this wildlife tourism for the future and for the betterment thank you very much